this video we're going to create a dynamic slicer in Microsoft Excel that is linked to both formulas as well as a chart so what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today I have a small data set of loan records in this table down below here I have a slicer here where I can select different branch locations and you can see it updates automatically both the formula subtotals here by loan type as well as the chart to the right. So the first thing we want to do is convert our data set to a table. So I can click anywhere in my data set, hit control in the letter T. This create table box will appear. You simply click OK and we have our table. The next thing we want to do is move our table down below where our results are going to be because once we link this table to our slicer it's going to filter this table and if our results are to the right or left of our table it's going to filter our results with our table that gets filtered and you won't be able to see everything and we don't want that so your results need to be up above our table so the next thing we need to do is add a formula column to the right of our table. So I'm just going to call this filter and we're going to insert the subtotal function. And within that, we're going to select count a. Now this function counts everything that is not blank or everything that is visible. And that's actually what we want because when we link this table to the slicer, it's going to filter everything. And we only want to subtotal based on everything that is still visible after that filter. So we can select really any cell to the left of this column. So I'll just select loan type and it's going to do a count of that cell so long as it's visible. So let me just show you how this works. If I select these first two rows of our table, one is business, one is mortgage, and I filter based on just business, watch what happens to this last column of the mortgage. It returns a value of zero because it is no longer visible and that is what we're going to use to link this filter table to our formulas up top so I'm gonna clear this filter now up here what we're gonna add is a filter function for our loan type column now, if you have an older version of Excel, you will not have the filter function. So what you can do is simply copy the category column, come up top to the right somewhere and paste it as values. You can go up to the data ribbon and click remove duplicates. That will simply return all of your unique values and you can simply paste it over here. Now, if you have Excel 365 or 2021, what we can do is insert the unique function along with the filter function nested inside. For our array, we're going to start typing our table name. Mine is called table nine. I'm going to add an opening bracket and once I do that I can see all of my columns so I'm gonna select the loan type column for our next input that is our criteria column again I'm gonna type my table 9 opening bracket I'm gonna select the filter column and I want everything in that column that has a value of 1 meaning it's visible Now, what we could also do is nest this within the sort function to always sort it alphabetically. So we'll do that as well. So now at this point, I'm going to go back, click in my table. I'm going to go up to the table design ribbon. I'm going to insert a slicer. We want a slicer by branch location. 
So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move this up here, maybe change the design. So now if I select my different branches, you can see it automatically updates this based on the selection. So now at this point, what we're going to do is clear this out. I'm going to insert a sum ifs function to get our subtotals. So our sum range is going to be our table again, and I'm going to select the loan amount column. That is our sum column. Our first criteria range is going to be our loan type column. So I'm going to select table nine again and the loan type. So our criteria for that criteria column is going to be this cell to the left here. Now, if you have a newer version of Excel, you can add a hashtag and this will dynamically fill the sum ifs formula down with whatever is produced in these cells to the left with the filter. If you have an older version of Excel, you just use simply the cell reference without the hashtag and you just manually drag it down. So now we have our final criteria range, which is going to be our table nine again. And we want the filter column and we want anything equal to a value of one, meaning it's visible in that filter. So I'll hit enter that fills down. I'm going to format this. I'm going to add a total row at the bottom and now you can see we have our dynamic formula output linked to our slicer. The only other thing I want to do here is select this data here and insert a chart to the right. So I'll select all of this, go up to insert. I'm going to select a 3D bar chart. I may click here and change the design to something like that. And now when I select this, we have both formula totals over here that update as well as a chart that updates. If I want to select multiple branches at once, I can hold down my control button while I click and then let go of the control button and it will select multiple branches. If I want to see everything, I can clear this filter here and this clear button at the top. Well, that is all for now. Till next time.